Hello everyone, this is Richard from Modern Health Span. If you're using NMN or are interested in it, you're probably aware that the FDA has declared that NMN should be a drug and not as a supplement, although it has not fully enforced this ruling as yet. Metro Biotech initiated this move by the FDA by claiming to be investigating NMN as a drug with their product MIB626. Metro Biotech has just released a video about the trials that they are conducting. This is a quick update on those trials. We did make a video in November 2022, linked to above, which goes through some of the legal details involved in this case. We will look at Metro Biotech in a minute, but a quick update on the key events. In December 2021, Metro Biotech sent a letter to the FDA claiming that they were investigating MIB-626 as a drug, that MIB-626 was in fact beta-NMN, and so NMN should not be allowed as a supplement. At the time, the FDA was in the process of agreeing that NMN was a new dietary ingredient and so could be sold as a supplement and had sent notice of this to one company. However, in November 2022, the FDA changed its position and declared that NMN was a drug and so could not be sold as a supplement. After that, some places, Amazon for example, pulled all their NMN products. However, so far the FDA has not enforced this ban and the NMN is still available in the US. The Natural Products Association, a trade group of companies in the natural products industry, which includes supplement companies, issued a petition to the FDA to reconsider their position on NMN on March the 7th, 2023. However, 180 days later, the FDA responded to say that they had not reached a decision. In November 2023, Metro Biotech sent a follow-up letter to the FDA arguing against the petition and the status of NMN as a supplement. So in summary, the FDA has said that NMN is a drug, but has not enforced this yet but may do at some time in the future. Who is Metro Biotech? It is a privately owned biotech company based in Boston that is working on drugs based on NAD biochemistry. This includes both precursors to boost NAD levels as well as inhibitors for cancer therapy. Dr. David Sinclair is the founder of the company and is also on the scientific advisory board. His co-founder is Dr. Rajendra Apte. As mentioned, the company recently released a video with some updates on their current work. I've linked to the video in the description. In the video, they mention three FDA approved trials that they are currently working on that we will look at in a moment. They also mention developing new NAD precursors as well as discovering novel crystalline forms of existing ones. The latter seems to be referring to MIB-626, which is a form of NMN. They are also looking at a drug to inhibit NAD synthesis as a cancer therapy. A quick look at the studies that they are conducting. The first of these is on diabetic kidney disease. It is a phase 2A trial. Phase 1 is for safety evaluations, and phase 2 is a small-scale evaluation of safety and efficacy. So phase 2A is a preliminary investigation. The dose is 1,000 milligrams of NMN twice daily, so larger than most of the other human trials so far. Although the summary shows the intervention as NMN, in the intervention section itself, it's given as MIB-626. The second is a trial in healthy adults to see the impact of MIB-626 on exercise. So this is interesting because it's not looking at a specific indication. They also use 1,000 milligrams of NMN twice daily, so two grams a day. And the third is for Alzheimer's disease, which is focused on whether MIB-626 is able to cross the blood-brain barrier and raise NAD levels in the brain. It also uses one gram twice daily and is mostly looking at metabolites and markers of health rather than endpoints with Alzheimer's. All of the trials are currently recruiting and are in phase one or phase two. The earliest end date is the end of this year, with the others being mid-2025 and mid-2026. 
As described in the video, the main concept of the company is that NAD declines with age and maintaining it leads to a longer and healthier life. They also think that NAD can treat rare diseases associated with mitochondrial dysfunction, of which there are over 50. The plan is to move on to address these in the future. It seems that the research is in early stages, with all the trials recruiting and in phase 2A. There was a previous trial of MIB626 into Frederick's ataxia. However, I do not see any updates on this, and I don't know if they intend to move forward. I could be wrong, but my understanding is that if the FDA enforces the view of NMN as a drug, it will no longer be available for sale in the US. It will not become available even through a doctor until it is approved for use as an intervention for a specific disease which will require a successful phase three trial. Given the state of the trials at Metro Biotech, this would appear to be multiple years away. There are other ways to raise NAD, but I'm still hoping that NMN remains available as a supplement. Thank you for your attention, and I wish you all well.